Hello everyone, Luke here and welcome back to the channel. So in my last video, which was called DIY Light Up Christmas Sign, which I'll put a link in the description for, I made a really cool stencil to put over my light box. And I used a really awesome method, and that is converting a JPEG image into a clear back PNG, which means I'm able to put it into my drawing program, export it, plug it into the laser cutter, and it will just work, which I think is actually really cool. Right, so let's go over to the computer and take a closer look. So this is the website that I use and it's a really simple but powerful tool and I've already got an image copied to my clipboard so you don't even have to upload anything. So all I've got to do is click Control V, it's going to import it and now it's imported you're going to see on the right side of the screen that it's given me a transparent PNG and it's really as simple as clicking save as and download. And now we've got that downloaded I'm going to take it over to the drawing program and I'll show you what to do next. So I've got my image copied to my clipboard and now I've opened my drawing program and our specific laser printer needs to be in a landscape orientation and we can do this easily just by hitting page, page setup and then when it loads just hit landscape and that makes this a lot easier. And now we're in the landscape orientation I could just hit paste and as you can see, our image is pasted and it has a clear background, which I think is actually really cool. And what a cool website that is as well. So I'm going to rotate this by 90 degrees. Oh, way too far. There we go. Now we're rotating 90 degrees. We'll just center this and make the picture. A bit bigger. And we can set this really easily just by hitting right click, uh, alignment, and centered. Move that up just a little bit. Like so. And that looks really cool actually. So the next thing that we have to do is make sure that these O's and E's are not going to be cut out all the way. And we could do this easily just by grabbing a rectangle. I need to position my thing a bit better, but it's not working. There we go. Right, so we could grab a rectangle. Do it really small, make it really thin, make it a bit longer and it has to be white coloured so make it white and the line colour is very important here as well we go all the way to the top and hit white and now we could just put them in between the bits of the O's and the E's so we copy and paste that Right, so now we can export that and you want to export it as a JPEG. Right, so I'm going to put this on my USB, I'm going to go down to the laser cutter, I'm going to cut this out and I'll show you the finished result. So the laser cutter is just finished cutting and I had to do two sheets just because I thought I made a mistake. But I didn't. So if you take a look at this, which was the side that I wanted it to say home sweet home on, it's actually backwards. But if I turn it around, you can clearly see that it says home sweet home. But if you take a look at this one, which is the one that I just redid, on this side, on the back side, it says home sweet home. And I think that looks absolutely beautiful. And it really is just as easy as that. So this brings me to the end of the video, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. But if you have any questions, don't hesitate to put them in the comments, and I'll try my best to answer them all. Anyway guys, I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you later.